I was getting a, a diagnostic code of 643A on my exhaust cam, talking about its position, and even though we, my car was running okay, um, I was the tr the check engine light came on after a couple months, and so uh, when I looked at it. Uh, the best I could with the marks. Uh, looks like ah, I could have been off maybe one tooth. And y you all know how hard it is to see. And so what I did is uh, I marked my cover on top. You know, I followed the, followed the groove and marked it on top so I could see that exhaust cam if it was lining up with the marks uh, the intake wasn't so bad but I did it anyway and so that I looked down I tried to get the same position looking down my marks instead of trying to look the best I could on the side angle so um, and I didn't want to take my whole belt off again so I was only going to move the exhaust cam one tooth back. So I made sure I was on top dead center, had my cams locked with the locking tool, and uh, I knew my intake was okay. So what I did was I, I didn't want to move the belt, so I tied a, a shoestring right around the, the timing belt and the intake pulley, the shoestring on the intake so that it would it would stay there and then I tied another shoestring pulling the belt right past the water pump so that it would stay fairly tight and then I, I pulled it tight so that the belt would stay on to the crankshaft on the bottom and after I loosened the, the belt tensioner uh, I was able to pull my, my timing belt off but it stayed in place the crankshaft I loosened my tensioner and, and uh, readjusted my pulley one tooth back. And more in line as I was looking straight down with my cover versus so much at an angle. And so I put it all back together and, and then I was able to slide my, my belt back on uh, a little easier because it was still taut, still tight being on the intake pulley and being around the, the water pump. So then all I had to do was slip it back around the exhaust pulley once I had realigned it. So, uh, and then after I put it back on, tightened everything back up. And so far, no diagnostic codes. I'm happy about that. Hope that helps.